To begin, we need to add a cylinder. Press Shift A, go to Mesh, and select Cylinder. Rotate it along the X axis by pressing R, X, 90 and then hit Enter to confirm. This will align the cylinder in the correct orientation for a wheel. Next, scale the cylinder down to fit with the body of your vehicle. Once you have the approximate size, scale it along the y-axis to adjust the width of the wheel accordingly. This will give the wheel its basic proportions. Now, let's clean up the geometry. Isolate the cylinder by pressing forward slash on your numpad, then switch to edit mode by pressing tab. Select both faces of the cylinder by going to face select mode and clicking on each face. Press delete and choose faces to remove them. This will leave us with only the outer rim of the wheel. Next, create a loop cut to split the cylinder in half. Press Ctrl R, scroll to create just one cut, and then confirm it by left clicking. Now, delete half of the cylinder by selecting the unwanted side, pressing delete, and choosing vertices. This will allow us to use the mirror modifier to automatically create symmetry. To do this, go to the modifier properties, add a mirror modifier, and ensure the axis is set correctly to mirror the missing half. Now, let's shape the wheel. Select the outer edge of the cylinder, press S to scale it slightly outward. Then, extrude along the y-axis by pressing E, Y, and move it outward just a little. Scale it down slightly to create the outer rim. Repeat this extrusion process one more time to create a step-down effect. This will help define the structure of the wheel. Before adding more details, let's check the size of the tire by using a reference image. Import the image into Blender and align it with the wheel. Select the outermost edge of the wheel and scale it to match the reference. This will ensure accuracy in proportions. Once done, separate the wheel and tire by selecting the necessary geometry, pressing P, and choosing selection. This will make the wheel and tire separate objects. Refine the wheel by removing unnecessary faces. Select the wheel, delete the inside section, and recreate it for a cleaner topology. To do this, 
select the inner edges, press delete, and remove the faces. Then, fill the gap with a new geometry by selecting the edge loop and pressing F to create a new face. Next, let's add bolts to the wheel. Create a new cylinder by pressing Shift A, go to Mesh, and select Cylinder. In the settings, reduce the vertices count to 6 to create a hexagonal bolt shape. Position the bolt in place and then change its origin to the 3D cursor by pressing Shift S and choosing Cursor to select it. Duplicate the bolt using Shift D, move it, and then rotate it to place it around the wheel. To quickly duplicate multiple bolts, use Shift R to repeat the last action, ensuring an even distribution around the wheel. With that, we have completed part 1 of our wheel creation process. In the next video, we will continue with the tire tread and add more details to make the wheel look even more realistic. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.